Hey guys, so what is up? Red Penning here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well. Have a really great day. In this video, I am gonna get started on mining on my Asus Strix 30 series mining rig. As you guys know, may have seen the video, I had some issues getting it all up and running, but generally we were fine. Had Basically all we had to do was BIOS update the motherboard and also uh, I'm waiting on some new breakout boards so that I can turn on both of the power supplies at the same time, okay? Using the uh, floppy cable here, uh, the, the power cable basically to notify the breakout board. So the breakout boards I have right now is not compatible with the good old parallel miner ZSX board. You guys can see I'm using this as the main board instead of ATX power supplies, okay? So I'm using two 1500 watt HP server PSUs, and yeah, that's how it's powering my Asus Strix 3090, 3080, and then we have a 3070 over here, 3060 Ti, and then a 3060, which is uh, limited, not uh, limited on mining ETH hash. This is not a LHR card. I don't have any LHR cards here. Hopefully down the road, I can find a Asus Strix 3080 Ti and an Asus Strix uh, 3070 Ti, and also maybe a 3060 Ti and a 3060 LHR model. So I can fill this whole rig with those and so we can test a bunch of different hash rates. We can see exactly how the LHR cards affect, you know, versus the uh, regular OG 30 series cards. So anyways, the mining rig is up and I want to start hashing. So let's start with Ethereum on this rig. All right, let me go ahead get that started. Okay, there we go. There is the Ethereum hash rate. For all of these cards, you can see which ones they are. Again, about 62 in the 3070. 3090 is getting 124, almost 125 mega hash. Uh, 60 mega hash on the 3060 Ti. 3080 is getting almost 100 mega hash. And the 3060 is going to be the lone wolf here of 26 mega hash. So I am going to try LOL Miner, as I know that LOL Miner is able to go past the uh, limiter, I guess limited, on Hive OS, okay? So I'm gonna have to do a few things, such as changing the uh, NVIDIA driver to 460.39, because right now uh, we are on 460.84. So I actually did try LOL Miner earlier, but it would not activate the, uh, uh, the, uh, the parameters for getting past 26, 25 mega hash in LOL Miner because of the driver. So I'm gonna do that later on in this video, but I just want to show you guys what I can get using T-Rex Miner, all right? So on this whole rig, we are getting about 373 mega hash, and uh, the power for the whole mining rig, according to Hive OS, is 935. I don't have my 240 volt space codes power meter up it's actually being utilized on a bunch of mining rigs right now. So I'm going to speculate here. The power consumption for this whole rig is going to be probably over a thousand watts, maybe a thousand fifty at most. I'm going to say 1100 watts for all of these cards right now, getting about 370, 360 mega hash. Okay. So pretty cool. All right, guys. So the rest of the video, I want to test out other algorithms, that's the main thing, the reason why I built this rig, so that we could see what the hash rates could be on these OG cards, and hopefully later on, I mentioned it before, hopefully I can add in a 3080 Ti, and a 3070 Ti, and also a 3060 Ti, and maybe a uh, LHR 3060, okay? So yeah, the LHR 3060, 3060 Ti, LHR 3070 Ti, and a LHR 3080 Ti, on this rig. I don't know, uh, hopefully I can fit it on here. I, I should have enough space theoretically and hopefully spacing as well. I may have to move this 3060 Ti over here and then move the 3070 over so I can fit a few more cards just to have a better spacing. But anyways guys, I'm gonna see you in the computer. We're gonna test out Ravencoin, Ergo, you know, all those coins that everyone wants to know. Okay, so I will see you inside. Okay guys, so we are in my HiveOS account and I want to show you right away the Ethereum hash rate as I am now testing the Mini Z miner. You guys may have heard the 3060 is able to get a little bit more hash rate than I think what initially it got, I think 37 or something with LOL miner. Now we're able to get about 41.09. All right, so I'm running two different miners 
in one flight sheet for this rig just because of the 3060 uh, in order to get that 41 mega hash and then I have the other GPUs uh, my 3090, 3080, 3070 and 3060 Ti which are all OG cards all right non LHR uh, mining Ethereum. I'll talk about the hash rates here in a second. I just wanted to show you the RTX 3060. Some of you guys may not know but may have seen uh, many videos on YouTube. I think the hobbyist miner has a great video uh, showing the 3060 hash rate and uh, using Mini-Z. You guys should go check them out. Link down below. But I also, I'll just show you real quick here. So I've added the another miner just using the Mini-Z for the GPU, uh, the 3060. And here, these are the only two arguments, the extra config arguments that I had to put in. So dash CD4 means number four GPU, which is the 3060 uh, for me. So it depends on what you guys have, right? You guys may have six of them or in a different slot or something. So you have to change that number. And then dash dash mode equals eight. All right, and then that's it. That's pretty much it. And then I applied the flight sheet and I also then restarted the rig as uh, it did crash for me a little bit. You probably can see it right here. Uh, I was mining, uh, actually, no, sorry, it was over here. And then I just simply restarted it and then it was totally fine. And then actually eight or 10 hours later that the miner crashed. Okay, and it was showing like a hundred like rejects, uh, rejected shares on the 3060. So I, I restarted at this time and now it's been reasonably stable for the past, uh, you guys can see here, the minor uptime is eight hours. So yeah, the 3060 is able to get 41 mega hash, all right? And 3060 Ti, I'm getting about 61. I'm getting some invalid shares here. I'll probably have to fix some overclock stuff here, but 3070, 62.39, my 3080, 99 100 almost 100 mega hash and then the asus strix 3090 is getting 121 mega hash uh, so what i've also i just want to mention to you guys as well uh, just silicon lottery results may vary from gpu to gpu and it definitely does vary from gpu to gpu because i have a bunch of other 3080s that do different power consumption numbers here and different hash rates dependent on you know the uh, the memory temperatures as well but I, what i found out is the asus strix 3090 and 3080 has more overclock from the factory okay so that's why the power consumption that i i, I understand it is taking a lot more uh, than usual so my 3090 here is uh, taking 323 watts but i guess i can fine tune it more i i have seen some people get under 300 watts for their 3090 but for this one, it I just, for some reason, every time I bring down the core or power limit to like 320 or 315, it will drop like another 10 mega hash. So I'm not quite sure if that is because of the memory temperatures or it's just this card needs a bit more juice in order to get a more mega hash here. But anyways, guys, that's Ethereum. All right, on this rig. Now I want to show you guys Ravencoin. Let's do that next. Okay, guys, so here is my Ravencoin results that I was able to get on the 3090. All right, getting about 49 mega hash. I tried to go for 50, but the power <laughs> consumption started to get pretty high. I was not comfortable with it. I'm, I'm still not even comfortable with 335, to be honest. But there you guys go. Uh, the 3080, 44.46 mega hash at about 280 watts. And uh, as I went lower, like 275, it would drop down to like 40 mega hash or something. So yeah, this these two cards are clocked quite high. Like they need a lot of power. Uh, the 3070, I was able to get 30 mega hash here at about 150 watts. Anything lower, it would start dropping in hash rate. Like 145 watts, I was getting about 26 mega hash. Uh, 3060 Ti, getting about 29.08 mega hash at about 140 watts. All right, and then the RTX 3060 is getting about 24.29 at about 135 watts. And these are my overclock settings here. And the whole rig is definitely using a lot more power. All right, so be mindful for people that are going to be mining Ravencoin. Make sure you have the power capacity on your power supplies. And also, if you're using your splitters or anything like that, you'll probably need to just, just look at how you have your uh, strands and coming from your power supplies, whether that's your ATX or HP server PSU. Just, just be mindful. You're going to be using a lot more power. So uh, heat will play a big role in mining Ravencoin. So... Definitely have, you know, lots of fans, like a maybe a floor fan or something pointed at it because the rig will start getting nice and toasty. And I can already tell my, my temperatures are going up a little bit. Anyways, guys, that's Ravencoin. Let me work on Ergo now. All right, here is the Ergo hash rates that I can achieve on my GPUs. And I just want to say thank you to a couple of my mods on Discord, Alchemy, uh, Khaled, and uh, Boris. I hate you. But 
Anyways, guys, look at this. We are getting these hash rates, and I would love to know what your guys' setting is. So, my 3090 is getting about 268. I can achieve that at about 279 watts. Now, some of you may ask, Red Panda, why aren't you using the absolute core clock on the 3090? And, well, I did that, and it was getting pretty much the same hash rate as my 3080, but taking more power. So... I decided to do it that way. Uh, I'll show you guys something in, in a second here, in one second, about the uh, hash per watt efficiency. But the 3080, getting 223. The RTX 3070, 171.9 or 172. 3060 Ti, we're getting about 170. And then the 3060, which this one here, I've been trying to play around with a lot, only getting about 110 mega hash. I mean, only, but that, that's pretty good, to be honest. But we're using only about 86 watts, according to the software. All right, so these are my settings here in HiveOS. Now I want to show you guys in the software here just the most efficient GPU in terms of uh, mining. Okay, so it looks like uh, for mining Ergo, and it looks like the 3060 Ti wins this round in terms of uh, getting 170 mega hash, right, at about 123 watts versus the 3070. It's almost getting about the same mega hash, but at 133 watts. Okay, so you can see the efficiency number here that. The higher number, 1.39 mega hash per watt, is is better. So, like, a little bit better. We're talking, like, very small, small numbers here in terms of efficiency from the 3060 Ti to the 3070. So, to each of their own, I feel like these two GPUs obviously are going to be the most efficient. Now, some may argue the 3060, the non, this is a non-LHR card, right? This is a limited uh, on ETH hash, though. And, uh, but we're getting about 1.25 mega hash per watt. Now, I've seen some numbers. Some people have been able to get better mega hash numbers. This thing has actually gone down to 103. Uh, it looks like it was getting 110 earlier. So I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, if I actually, I tried 120 power limit. Actually, you know, we can just do this right now. If I do, let's say 100, when I hit apply, uh, the hash rate is going to go up to 127, I bet. Okay, there we go. The 3060 is now getting 127 mega hash, but at about 124 watts. So the mega hash per watt has definitely dropped from what it was before, I think 1.25. So, but yeah, we're getting a higher mega hash number. Just to, just to, so I wanted to show you guys that. And uh, in Hive OS, just to, let's just refresh this. It is showing 105. That's great. I don't know why it's bugging out here. Let me just, uh, okay, well, it looks like it dropped down to 98 mega hash. All right, so something is wrong with this 3060. It, yeah, I've noticed that the hash rate just for the 3060 has been jumping all over the place. So I guess as I'm changing the overclocks live, uh, that it's, it's jumping all over the place. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Please let me know your thoughts. And if you guys have any other optimizations I could do or try, mining Ergo or even Ravencoin or even Ethereum that you guys saw earlier, okay? So let me know your thoughts. That's the three hash rates I mainly wanted to do. I am going to do more videos regarding uh, overclocks and all that kind of stuff with these GPUs. Uh, I want to test out more algorithms and uh, I'll have another video testing out more. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see other ones. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Ergo mining is a lot more efficient and definitely a lot less power consumption for the whole mining rig so that's something to keep note and uh, really nice so that that'll help with your bottom line i guess okay guys thanks for watching let me know your thoughts i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one and peace out